back to my channel and welcome to another weekend in my life at CSULB. Sorry for the noise outside. Today is Friday and I had class and work this morning slash afternoon and I'm home. I just got my Fab Fit Fun Box in the mail. I know guys, I hate myself too. This is like so basic of me. But they were having a sale, okay? Like I would never have gotten one, but I like saw an ad that they're like fall box is 50% off and I was like, you know what, let's do it. It was just kind of like a treat yourself moment. I've been having a lot of those lately. I'm gonna need something for this. Whoops, that, that's not the right way. Yeah. Wow. Okay, we have a magazine. Hello Fresh coupon. This is so cute, you guys. Oh my gosh. So yeah, this is what it looks like. I watched like a whole bunch of unboxings so I kind of already knew it was going to be in here but I'll act surprised anyway <laughs> um, we have these Tristique mini eye essentials ooh an eye pencil, brow pencil, shadow crayon and it like has a little diagram of like how to do it cool cool damage remedy for hair this is by Avita. that sounds good because I do straighten my hair. For, so for three of these, I chose them and then the rest of them were just included. So I think I chose these, they're detox pads for like your face. And I chose this one, Better Skin Co. Lava Magic. It's a cleanser, scrub, and mask. I wanna smell this. It smells like orange. So yeah, I chose these. And oh, I chose the scarf as well. And then this is facial toner. So I guess you like put this on your face after you wash it. I'm not really sure. That's usually what I do with my rose toner from Trader Joe's, but yeah. Um, and then there's this lotion. It's by Human Plus Kind. Ooh, I like it. Okay. Um, and then this scarf. This is like the perfect fall thing. I actually, I thought it was like black. Is this blue or black? I honestly can't tell. I think it's both actually. But I just thought this would be really cute because, so sorry about this yard work, oh my gosh. I thought this would be cute because I'm going to visit Nicolina in um, Michigan over Veterans Day weekend. So I was, I know it's gonna be like way colder <laughs> there than it is here. So I just wanted like a nice thick like fall scarf. And this is, Cute. So I think that's it, unless I like missed something. Oh, I did. Be careful before throwing these out. Oh, I remember seeing these in people's videos too. Harper and Ari exfoliating sugar cubes. I'm so excited for these. So they're like, you like use them in the shower. Okay. Cool. I'm gonna smell it. Everyone said it smelled like melon. Oh my gosh, it does. That smells so good. Definitely. I'm not tempted to eat them. Like it doesn't smell, from the way people were describing them, I thought it would smell like melon candy, like like Sour Patch watermelon, but it, it doesn't. It's like, it definitely doesn't smell like food. <laughs> it smells like, like lotion <laughs> or like soap. But I am like totally gonna use one of these tonight. Why? Yardwork people, why? So yeah, I think that's it. Wow, I'm super excited. I usually just like don't do stuff like this and I would never have bought these like on their own because like basically if you guys don't know like the way boxes like this work is like, it's like a discount. I'm just gonna, okay, just close the window. So the way boxes like this work is like everything in it is like a way like bigger value like retail wise, but then it's like discounted, but then you don't really get to pick what you get to the same extent that you would if you were going to the store, you know, like they just kind of put it together for you. So you get to choose between some things and then some things are just put in there. This is like not sponsored at all, <laughs> in case you thought it was, I don't get sponsorships. But anyway, I just thought it would be fun to like do it cause it was 50% off and like try some new products and stuff. So that's what I did. I will not be like continuing with it, I don't think. Cause otherwise it's $50 for each box and they come seasonally. So it'd be like $50 for winter, spring, summer. And I don't wanna do that, so. Yeah, I will let you guys know how I like everything. And now I'm gonna get on with my day. I have, I'm gonna clean the room, eat lunch and do some homework.
This needs light. This is dinner. So I just made white rice, red lentils, which I overcooked a little bit, but that's okay. And then I added some corn and some leftover pumpkin that I had from when I cooked. And then what else is in here? Oh, I meant to, meant to oven roast chickpeas and I forgot. So it's just regular chickpeas. I'll roast them tomorrow. And then I added some sweet chili mustard and some greens. I'm gonna eat this really quickly. Um, and then Megan and I are gonna go grocery shopping. So. Saturday so I know it's dark in here it's just like really hot outside and I did not feel like having sun coming in um I haven't even really been in here for most of the day I like really had trouble getting out of bed this morning like I feel like I always complain about my headaches but like it is like a real problem like I take Excedrin almost every day like I basically wake up with a headache every day like my sinuses feel like there's lead in them um, and I've like gotten it checked out and everything like I've had a sinus scan like there's nothing wrong with my sinuses Like I literally don't know what's wrong with me um, It's fine, but anyway, so then I finally like got up did some homework And then I went to cafe Bene for like a few hours and like actually trying to like get some work done because it was like so hard to concentrate here and I got My discussion post done and I started writing my paper, but like Did not get very far, but it was so good to get that discussion post done because I've been procrastinating on that for quite a while I'm catching up on Gals on the Go podcast right now, and after this episode, I'm gonna switch over to my audiobook because I only have like five or six more days to finish it. I'm listening it, listening to it on 1.25 speed, so that I can finish it. I have six days to finish it. Anyway, so I'm going to make some chickpea cookie dough because I realized that I kind of have like a lot of meal prep to do for the week, so I kind of wanted to get that over with today. I'm excited. It's just like chickpeas, dates, a couple other things. I think I took a picture of it. Oh, there's not dates in it, just kidding. It's chickpeas, nut butter, vanilla, cinnamon, honey, salt, and chocolate chips. So, I think I might use maple syrup instead of honey. Or like half and half, I don't know, but. Yeah, I'm gonna do that and then like try to do some more homework. <laughs> talking with my mom on the phone earlier so that's why I just like took a silent clip but I'm about to go see Complexions um, which is the dance company we have to go see for my class um, so yeah all by myself but it's fine like I don't mind I'm <laughs> just excited it'll be fun Sunday so it's like mid-afternoon right now and I am like really having a hard time getting things done I know it's dark in here as always it's just like really freaking hot outside and I like didn't want the sun coming in and I can't open the windows either so I set the fan going and a wet washcloth so that I like don't overheat yeah so this morning I made all my meal prep I did hard-boiled eggs I made pancakes and I made a pasta dish which I also ate for lunch today and I'm gonna have it for Monday and Tuesday lunch and I talked to Maggie on the phone, which was really fun. We like hadn't talked in so long and we got all caught up and I just, it was just great to talk to her. It made my soul happy, like get caught up and stuff. Um, and then I did some reading and I am now working on my dance assignment. The show last night was really, really good. Um, 
it was like about two hours long and there were like two different sections like two different like dances and the first one was called Woke and the second one was called Stardust which was the one that was to David Bowie music and it was like really good and like it was like ballet but also modern like they were wearing like point shoes and they'd go up on point a lot and do like the traditional ballet moves but it was like interwoven with like that whole like much more fluid like modern motion and there was even like some jazz that I think I detected in it like some like hip stuff and whatever I have to like describe it for my assignment that I'm doing right now um ow my wrist hurts um um so I'm like almost done with that I was really wanting to get it turned in tomorrow just to get it over with because it's due I think by Wednesday but I had like a question on one part of it because the assignment says like oh who composed the music and for the first one there's like a different composer for every single song so I'm like you want me to like really list all these like I don't know so I'm just gonna ask my teacher tomorrow and then turn it in Wednesday but I can turn in our reading assignment so I'm gonna do that and then I have to work on my paper for my other class like my oh guys like my class my linguistic class just like we have so much homework right now like I'm dying we still have to finish I still have to finish reading the last chapter and then I have to fin work on my paper and then this week I'm just gonna be working on my paper more I have another discussion to do possibly another chapter to read I'm not sure if we have to read the last chapter or not because like I don't think there are gonna be any midterm questions on it I don't know but then we have our midterm which is like a take home next weekend so <laughs> We love that. I'm still not entirely sure when the paper is actually due. I think we have a few weeks, but we are having conferences with him this week apparently to talk about our progress. And I have not made much progress yet. Like I know what I'm doing it on and I have everything, but I haven't written very much. So I need to do that. And I'm trying to work on my book <sighs> to submit to my directed studies for better. Uh, and I'm gonna take a hot tub tonight to like help hopefully loosen like my shoulder muscles and stuff because I've just been like really sore lately like my shoulders and neck and I'm going to go to bed early tonight you guys I'm not even kidding I actually slept like really well last night like today was the first morning that I woke up without like a huge headache this whole week which was a nice a nice thing to have happen um and I'm like not bloated for the first time this week. So like my my two like my headaches and my stomach pain are like actually okay today, which is like a, a good time. I'm sure everything will just go to crap again this week, but it's okay. It's nice to know what it feels like to live a normal life for one day. Anyway, um, I also tracked like my hours for work and my budget. And I folded all my clothes in my closet. I'll just show you really quick. I just like toss everything up here during the week. Um, that I'm like in the process of wearing, but I like finally folded everything. So that is taken care of. And yeah, I'm gonna, gonna get back to it. You guys, <laughs> so I was like waiting because I knew the schedule came out tomorrow, but I was like just gonna check and it came out early. So I'm like already planning out my classes for next semester <laughs> instead of working on the classes that I currently have. But you guys, it is going to be so chill and I'm so excited. It's gonna be my easiest semester, which is what I wanted because it's my last semester. I'm gonna be doing directed studies, which is three units, English grammar, which is four, and education across cultures, which is three and then choir and I wanted to do a dance class but they don't have anything listed right now that I want to take so I technically only need one more unit so I'm looking at the kid classes right now so if I end up not doing dance I might do this <laughs> stretch and relaxation class <laughs> they have Pilates like they have a couple things that look pretty cool so um I might do that instead I feel like really sad without a dance class but like I'm just like looking at how like the end of the semester looks for this class I'm in right now and it's like actually we have to write like a paper and stuff I'm just like uh, like I just want a class where we dance like I don't I don't want to do all this writing and crap because um, like it's just like uh, I don't want, I'm mm, basically because like I was just looking at what I'm gonna have to do over Thanksgiving break and it's like not fun but it's fine um so like I don't want to do an intro class again because I was like they have I've done hip hop and modern now, but they have like tap and jazz um, and like ballet, but I don't want to do an intro class. I'd only want to do a beginning class and they literally don't have any beginning classes except hip hop, which I've already done. So um, sometimes it switches around. Like I just, 
like they don't even they don't even have intermediate modern like they have nothing of modern they have like intermediate jazz or something but i can't do that because i haven't done anything of jazz <laughs> so i can't just like jump into an intermediate class um but yeah i'm hoping they add something i don't know it's okay i think i might guys i might actually be able to schedule all my classes for tuesday thursday <laughs> oh my god i never thought this day would come <laughs> Like the dance, if they add it, might mess it up, but otherwise I could literally have all my classes on Tuesday and Thursday and I could work Monday and Wednesday. I could do like six hours with like a break in between and just have like those be work days and Tuesday and Thursday be class days and then I could have Fridays off again and oh, okay, I'm just like, I'm getting really excited about this. I need this semester to be over.